What's going on guys? In this video we're going to go over how to use Anki effectively and efficiently. So once you've got Anki downloaded, open it up, you're going to see something like this. You won't have all these decks on the side. These are each decks that I created. Now real quick, I recommend you don't create too many decks. Generally create just one deck per test. Whether that's a subject or a midterm or a final exam, decide for yourself. I would generally just do one for, you know, all of cardiology. So I would have a test halfway through for like a midterm. I'd keep using that deck and then I would continue adding to it afterwards. If you have too many decks, that dilutes the purpose and you probably are not going to get to all your cards. So limit the number of decks you have. To create a deck, go down here, hit create deck. And to add a card, we're going to go up here. The first type of card you're going to see is a basic card type. It's essentially a flashcard with a front and a back. So when you open it up, it's going to have a front. If you press space, that's the shortcut, it'll show the back. Now you grade how difficult it was down here. So based on the difficulty that you choose, it'll show it again to you at an interval based on that difficulty. This is the easy card, for example. Now, the more effective and efficient way to create Anki cards is called closed deletions. These are essentially fill-in-the-blank cards. So, let's say we have either notes we took in class or a piece from a textbook or a review site or whatever. We can just copy the text, paste it straight in, adjust the formatting however we want, and Highlight the parts that you want to delete, or I should say, highlight the parts you want to fill in the blank for. The shortcut on Max is Shift Command C. And when you do that, it'll insert this code, which tells Anki this is a fill in the blank question. And you can do that for as many times as you'd like. So let's see how that looks. This is the first blank we made, and here's the second blank we made. Another thing you can do is actually have these show up at the exact same time. So this number after the C refers to an individual card. So this will have five separate cards. If we change this all to the same number, this will just count as one card with three blanks. So let me show you how that looks. As you can see, all three of these are blank, and I need to try to regurgitate all three at the same time. Another thing I recommend you do is insert images wherever it's relevant. So this extra portion down here will show up when you turn the card over to see the answer. So you can have text or you can insert images. And it'll look like this. Having an image really helps with your recall rate. So I recommend you do it as much as you can, but at the same time, don't spend too much time trying to find the perfect image. Just having an image there is better than no image. It doesn't have to be the perfect diagram or whatever. So the next type of card I want to show you, this is called 10 questions. This is a custom template that you actually have to create and I'll show you how to do it in another video. But I'm gonna show you how it works first. And it's really cool. So, I'm gonna open up Skitch. This is what I use to really quickly annotate images. So let's say I want to learn this anatomy. I'm going to copy this image and paste it right here as the answer. So whenever I flip over any of these question cards, this answer card will show. Now what I can do is I can go in and actually blur out the parts that I want to quiz myself on. So here are the three branches. I'm going to copy that image, go back and paste it. And I can do this as many times as I want, or at least up to ten times. You can make even more if you'd like. And I can also quiz myself on this. And let me show you what this looks like. So here's the question card. When I flip it over, here's the answer. Again, question and answer. So those are my main tips, guys. I generally use closed deletions for most everything, actually, if it's text at least. And I'll use the 10 questions for quizzing myself on anatomy or anything image-based 
such as a diagram or a table. Now, I actually rarely use the basic type because these two generally cover most things. They're also much quicker to make. So try it out. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you hit like, press subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in that next video.